Hey guys, 3D Hero here. Today's video, we will be having a look at some of the cut content from Titanfall and looking at some of the interesting and slightly odd assets that just didn't make the cut into the game. Now, firstly, these are stuff that I found online from other users and from the wiki. So, some of these things I may mention are stuff that could be revamped in the near future or just changed via name or just generally stuff that was thought of and never really made it in the end. If there's anything you want me to look into and discuss about, then please leave a comment in the comment section and I'll be sure to comment and see if I can put this into a future video. So firstly, let's take a look at a scrap titan called the Journeyman. This titan looks like an industrial titan, like the many of the original titans before they became weaponized. And it has a claw and hammer for hand, which verifies its purpose even more for civilian use. Now this titan was first seen in the Art of Titanfall 2 book, which, from my guess, they may have had an idea of adding this into the game at some point, to where Cooper would have been lost without BT, and would have had to rely on the Titan to get into unexplored areas. That would require a Titan at first to actually get through. Now, if they added this in to the game for the story segment, it would have been a nice change of pace to actually use a Titan not designed for killing, but designed for clearing obstacles, since we don't really see a lot of that in Time 4 or Time 4 2 at all. Next, we have a cut weapon called the Fukuda Battle Rifle that is typically named after one of the Time for Two directors called Steve Fukuda. Now, the weapon is supposedly meant to be the same as the Clear Rifle, as I've seen in Time for Two and Time for One, but the weapon looks more designed for Time for One's purpose, and it may have been designed to specialize in the area that the Kraber fells in, such as faster fly rate and higher damage. But its trade-off could have been something like higher recoil to control, compared to how the Kraber works, where the Kraber fires much slower but it has high damage and feels a lot more smoother to use. Now this weapon never made it into the game at all, either for time for 1 or 2, but it looks slightly similar to the DMR in a way, and the only difference I can currently see for this weapon here compared to DMR is that it's a little bit more chunkier compared to DMR that's a little bit more slimmer. That's generally all I can see from the weapon model, so one thing I, I generally think is that maybe the devs decided to use what current asset they have of this weapon and decided to form the DMR, just to completely change it up. Compared to, cause compared to the two, the DMR is a lot more slimmer compared to the Fukuda Battle Rifle. Now, it's kind of a shame that they never added this into the game, as, believable or not, they could have made this a NG sniper rifle, such as an like, NG version of the Kraber. And they could potentially bring this into Time for Free as a new weapon model instead. Because in the current game now, in Titan for 1 and 2, I believe none of those games there have a NG sniper rifle, except for maybe in two. We only have one that I could say is, sni is a kind of an NG sniper rifle, the double take, but it's not a type of weapon that is capable of killing in one shot. It's only capable of killing put someone in one shot if it's a direct hit to the body, if that uses low health already, or is a direct headshot. If they could form or create an NG sniper rifle that's like the Kraber, but it's an NG variant instead, that could be kind of great. But we don't currently know what's going to happen in Type 4 3. But typically, I do hope they add in a sniper rifle that's like the Kraber, that's like the Kraber but is a bit more powerful and is generally an NG version. Next up, we have a thing called the Walker, to which they were meant to be an automized AI security unit. But what it does is anyone's guess, as no one knows or have seen it in action at all. Now, from the description given to it, it was supposed to be a walking tank that I would guess would have been on par with the Titans in terms of firepower and movement speed. And it was typically found near the outskirts of Zone 18 on the Time for One map, and was, less, and was most likely meant to have a bigger role in the game as a larger anti titanic artillery or something to take out personnel or carrier ships. It's hard to tell with the image size, but it would have been interesting to add such a real coin game that would have been a weaker version of a Titan, but much more faster, more nimble, and something that was more designed on, say, taking out personnel, like a mini and weaker version of Bonin. But I can genuinely see why they probably did not add this into the game, considering that they kind of wanted to stick with the Titanfall feel. So you have these giant robotic titans that are literally duking it out with each other. Adding in such a thing like a spider tank into fray wouldn't really feel much like Titanfall. But maybe in the future, they could potentially create a titan that is kind of like a spider in a way. That maybe has robotic spider legs. And they could maybe do something completely different that most titans can't do, like scale walls and such. We don't know, but that's kind of a crazy idea that they could potentially take in the near future. Next up, we have a weapon called the Gibber, to which it was meant to be a sidearm that could make pilots explode on contact, 
We literally don't have any images or further information about this weapon. But considering it's called the Gibber and it makes players explode, I would guess it would have been a major rocket pistol that could damage titans and kill players with a explosive impact like the name does. Or it could have just been a NG pistol akin to the EBG or L star, where if you kill a player with it, then it would most likely cause them to explode. Personally, it would have been nice to see such a weapon in game since we have a pistol that acts like a mini shotgun and another that acts like a mini sniper. So I think a weapon such like this would have been very welcoming and would have been probably one of my most overused weapons as well. Because imagine it, you can literally create a whole build based around just giving players if you're that type of sickening person. So you can have an L star that is pretty great at mopping up players and grunts. And then you have a sidearm that also is great for taking out grunts and players and turn them into small ghibli giblets. And lastly we have the mortar which as the name states allow you to bug me down on certain areas and bring down missiles on a selected area of your choosing. Now the thing is this is in game but not in game as a way for us to use. For example it's seen use in front of defense by Tone who uses the quad rocket launcher to damage the halves at long distances. And it's also available for us to use in the single player of the game, but not the mortar mode, just the quad rocket mode. Which is kind of sad to say which is kind of sad to see, as they could have made it have the option to change on the fly between the two modes. And add on top of that, the quad rocket launcher that was actually introduced in Titanfall 1 and could actually be used in Titanfall 1 is available in Titanfall 2 in single player, but not available in front of defense or not available in multiplayer whatsoever. And it's kind of sad because I thought to myself that maybe with all the DLC down the line they would eventually introduce this into the game. Maybe they'd give it to Northstar or maybe give it to Tone or maybe give it to Monarch. Or maybe they'd base a the Titan based around it. That's what my general thoughts were along the line of the DLC for the game. But in the end they never introduced it for multiplayer. And why we don't come to you know. Whether they introduce it in time for free is just a wild guess. They could and they probably or they might not. Hopefully I do hope to see it actually return back in game because it's actually a fun weapon to use. And it's very powerful to use against say the more heavier titans like Scorch or Legion. Using it against Ronin, you could do a lot of damage, but Ronin could outrun you and out damage you much more quicker to the amount of damage you can juice. So it could have a trade-off such as that. But it'll be great to see this weapon be introduced in the game. And it'll also be great to see this kind of mode also be introduced. Because imagine it, you could play supportive and offensive player all in one. Which I don't think we really have in the game that much. Like you could probably say North Star is a aggressive but supportive character. But North Star is kind of weak. So maybe if they make it so that this was focused around a heavier titan a overclass titan that uses this weapon who can rain down certain missiles onto areas but could also get up close and use the quad rocket launcher to do extra damage maybe that could play in very well for support class but who knows we'll have to see in the near future so that is the end of my cut content list of items that never made a cut they were all pretty interesting and i will admit that hopefully in the near future we could actually see these be introduced in time for free or some other spin-off series within the Titanfall series. I genuinely would love to see these in Titanfall 3 as a whole, or if they could, maybe release it down the line as a DLC item within Titanfall 3. Because some of these are quite interesting, and some of these could have been, you know, as kind of like a secretive unlock for us to do. But hopefully I'd like to see a bit more customization in Titanfall 3, if these ever get released. If they don't, then I'll be really happy to see some other content that they kept behind but decided to re-add it in. So if there's any sort of cut content you would like me to cover then by all means give me some of your opinions in the comment section and I'll be sure to comment on it and I'll be sure to look on a Mark II version of this in the near future because if you guys enjoy this then I say why not create a whole list of all the cut content or all the lists of items that have been spotted in the game but have never been actually fully used. Because maybe, just maybe, a dev will look over this and think, you know what, maybe we should add this in the game in the near future. Just maybe. So that is the end of my video, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then by means leave a like, a comment and subscribe for more. If you didn't, then by means leave a dislike. I understand, I'll look back over the video and I'll look on where I need to improve on in the near future. So once again guys, thank you all for watching and I do hope to see you again soon.